Hi everyone, I'm Josh May from Taconi. I'm here with Doug Blocker. He's the engineering manager here at Taconi and part of the team, actually the engineer that designed Tandem Air. Right. Prior to that, the lightweight series, the 10 series that we have. The ultra lightweight. The ULWs, yep. yep, yep. And so, I mean, my favorite vacuum on the planet is Tandem Air. I love mm -hmm. it. I, I sold it as a retailer. Mm -hmm. I get to sell it now working for Taconi. Um, when you designed this, I mean, expound on this a little bit. The lightweights were cleaning great, right? They were right. testing really well. Our, our core business was still our, our clean air machines, our 8,000 series, our 7,000 series right. in Ricard and Simplicity. So you, you took that and kind of looked at the testing results of both and got to where we are today? Right. Well, How did that happen? The original uh, ULW was, you know, we, we wanted a lightweight vacuum. Our uh, customers wanted a lightweight vacuum. But in the development of that product, we realized that that motor fan uh, technology um, really did give a superior uh, cleaning performance. When you're talking about floor cleaning, you know, carpet cleaning. Uh, we know its limitations with above floor cleaning, but when it comes to pure floor cleaning, it's it's hard to you know beat it. Um, yeah, I don't think there was ever any question that direct air vacuums clean the carpet well. Like right. that's sure that's yeah. been proven, but. Yep. Like you said, the hoses didn't weren't there. The filtration wasn't right, there. Right. When we when we started the Tandem Air project, um, that originally started as a project where we're going to uh, develop the best cleaning vacuum, you know, possible. Um, at that time, and still to this day, we really hang our hat on you know a superior uh, cleaning performance. All of our products are that way. Um, but to try to find the best cleaning vacuum. Um, required some thought, required uh, some effort. Um, but what we realized in coming off the uh, ULW project that we could combine that nozzle motor head with a clean air body. Um, I, I believe that first uh, prototype we even called a you know Frankenvac at the time where we literally cobbled those things uh, together. And what we quickly learned without any like uh, like optimization of that you know concept the cleaning performance numbers just just raced off the uh, charts. So your Frankenvac took a direct air machine and a bypass and molded them together into right. one. Got it. A lot of plywood, a lot of uh, you know just regular you know hard hardware hinges. But yeah, that that was that original concept. Yeah, yeah. and it gave you the cleaning performance that beyond right. what we expected. It met our expectations and then some. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think having the pleasure of working for Taconi and going out in the field, I went to a store mm -hmm. one time in Minnesota that did not sell our products. Mm -hmm. And when I walked into his store, he asked me, he says, why hasn't anybody ever built a vacuum that works both direct and bypass at the same time? Sure. And I knew I had him because we had one, right? right? I mean, yep. it, that concept, the idea of being able to do bypass and direct air at mm -hmm. the same time, give you the pros and the advantages of both. Right. Um, working together or in tandem. In tandem, right. Yeah. So the, the the way the concept works in all, all vacuums, no matter if it's, you know, bypass or if it's that, you know, direct air uh, concept, there are restrictions. Um, there's filters, there's, you know, hose sizes that the motor and the fan has to work to either suck the air through or to, you know, push it through. Um, those re restrictions impede what the clean performance of every vacuum can really do. Um, what Tandem Air does is it effectively, each motor works to eliminate the restrictions that the other motor sees. And so in a very simplistic way, you can get one plus one equal three. Sure, no, absolutely. I, I, think, I think what a lot of people don't understand too, like I've had this question over the years, this isn't an easy thing to do. Right. So why hasn't other companies done it? Um, I think part of that has to do with, you can't do it cheaply. Right. So that this is not a low end vacuum cleaner. This is mm -hmm. a premium, right? And that's why right. it costs what it costs. And but there's a lot going on here. It's having all this in it. Right. So our market uniquely uh, positions us to to be able to to put features into a product that uh, typically adds cost, as we know. But what it also allows us to do is to work around some of the uh, limitations that, that other vacuum manufacturers can't can't make work. So, if, uh, for instance, this, you know, it, to make tandem air really like optimized, you have larger uh, air paths, not smaller hoses, it's larger hoses. It's, it's um, uh, the way that the, the, the air routes through it is, uh, you know, maintains a certain CFM level 
um, that, main, that that makes the you know cleaning numbers just jump off the chart. Yeah, I, I, I like all that because not only can you tell that story, mm -hmm. but you can demonstrate it. I mean, right. the demonstrations we can show with these with cleaning performance is mm -hmm. so fun. You get to show the agitation, mm -hmm. you get to show the airflow, right. you get to, even the suction is good. Like you get mm -hmm. the, all of that all in one machine. It's very demonstrable. Right. So obviously, Doug, Tandem mm -hmm. Air gives us a huge advantage when it comes to cleaning performance. Mm -hmm. And we know that. But right. it, in addition to that, there's some really nice things from a competitive advantage standpoint that right. we have in tandem air sure. that nobody else had done before. Maybe some have come out since, right. but um, we still have kind of the edge on some of those. Like you're telling me about the LED lights. Right. We're the first manufacturer to incorporate bright white LEDs into a uh, vacuum cleaner, replaces the incandescent bulbs that would always uh, burn out. Right, because of the shaking of the Shaking of thing. the uh, filaments, right. Yeah, LEDs done way better. We have uh, the hull sensor with the serpentine belt reinforced with Kevlar. Yep, right. Yeah, uh, it uh, uses a poly V belt that, that drives between the brush roll and the uh, motor pulley. Um, and we can sense when there's a brush roll jam and instantaneously turn off the nozzle drive motor. Before we did that, had, I mean, I know there were vacuums with circuit breakers and right. cog belts and stuff, but were we right. one of the first to do that as well? Mainly flat rubber uh, stretch belts that we know well because we have done it, done it too. Right. But if you're trying to create a lifetime belt, the belt that's going to last the life of a you know vacuum, it has to be a little different technology. And along with that is the ability to sense a brush roll jam, you catch the rug or a shoelace, right? And you need to turn that off in instantaneously before it, the belt can slip on the motor pulley. And that sensor works by the speed of the brush roll, correct? It does. So yeah, yeah. Right. all right. And then we go up here and you have a handle spring, right? which was, I mean, one of the things we don't talk about a lot Mm -hmm. Vacuums with tools on board tend to be heavy in the hand. In the hand, right. So we put a handle spring in there to assist that. We call it spring assist. The idea is that um, the more weight in the hand, the more that that spring uh, works to lift it up in your hand. So you can, without the spring, you might be holding a five pound bag of sugar, right? Right. With that, it's less than a pound. Yeah, no, I've seen that done with like digital fish scales in retailer right. stores sure. where they'll take a normal vacuum without that spring and hose on and it'll be four right. or five pounds. Yep. And then you put this on there and it's like, depending on the model, like sure. we have different series, some yep. are under a pound, some are right at a pound. So it's how full the bag might be might affect it a little bit. Right. But. It is a good controllable weight so that so it's not heavy in, in your hand. It doesn't uh, fatigue your arm. But what it does do is it gives you full control over the vacuum. Right. I mean, with tools on board, to me, it's like about as light as it gets in the handle. Right. Yeah. And then you got, yeah. of course, the hose, <laughs> really mm -hmm. popular demonstration. You put it in the right place. You mounted it down low and not right. up top. It's one of the longest hose reaches of any vacuum you will find. It allows you to go from, from bottom of the stairs to the top. It also allows you to, to do above floor cleaning without the vacuum, you know, tipping over, as you right. just said. Um, durable, uh, and, and the way the wand works, it's a it's it's a one touch release and then retract. Right, right. Yeah. That kind of pump action. The pump action. Yeah, <laughs> great. And then we have we have. I, I wondered. I asked you this earlier, mm -hmm. if it was an accident or intentional that the granulated charcoal filter is right. on the inside and right. not on the exterior. Right. Could you explain that again? Sure. So the as we know, where the bacteria grows, where the dirt is, right, is where the smell uh, comes from. If you put the granulated charcoal anywhere but inside, it's less effective. What you're doing is, is you're, you're, you're allowing all of that, that air to move through the vacuum until the, you know, uh, a charcoal finds it. As for instance, if it's on the post filter side. One of the problems with the post filter side is that the motor carbon, the, the motor over time is re releasing carbon from its motor brushes, right? And it works to, to uh, neutralize the active carbon in the charcoal filter. Uh, that was something I'd never thought of before. I mean, I knew I knew the advantage of having it right. inside where the source of this mm -hmm. motor was coming from, but I hadn't thought about the carbon coming off the motor and right. maybe impacting the effectiveness of that charcoal. It'll it'll just coat all, all uh, of the beads. We use uh, granulated charcoal because it's, it gives you the most surface area, so it's it lasts the longest, right? right? Um, but if you coat it, right, it, it it's l uh, less effective. Yeah, that's great. You know, I I, I don't think anybody else at this point in time allows you to run both charcoal and HEP at the same time. I, I believe you're right. I yeah. think some give you the chance to mm -hmm. use one or the other, but ours is done right. I think you did a fantastic job of that because you have it in the right place and then mm -hmm. the HEP is on the exhaust. So right. that, that was brilliant. Of course, controls in the handles, um, right. running both motors right yeah. there at your fingertips. A part of that high end, uh, that, that 
you know, vacuum that is that is a, a positioned as a premium product, right? It was all about user like interface. It was uh, where the uh, if you turn the vacuum off, it, it resets to the original uh, mode, you know, carpet right. uh, cleaning mode. Um, everything was 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 meant to be uh, easy touch, easy use, and intuitive. Yeah, one of the things I like to say about our stuff. Maybe not everybody knows our brand as well, right? But we win when people use these products. Like I, you said, yeah. it you know that customer mm -hmm. interface. When you use this, mm -hmm. I, it's designed to to be used. The tools were made to be used, not just right. a feature, but actually something you could use. Right. The the way the the handle switch work, the the, the bare floor cleaning, the suctions mm -hmm. in the middle, mm -hmm. so it's not off to the side, so you get good cleaning across the whole nozzle across the whole nozzle right yeah yep. so anyway i sure. i think you did a good job explaining that it's not just tandem air that makes it a premium vacuum right it's all the features that you put into it from led lights mm -hmm. to handle springs pulse sensors charcoal filters all the premium features that you would want right everything good that's been done in vacuums <laughs> it put into one machine yeah we tried to squeeze as much as we could in but where it makes sense yeah thanks again doug this has been sure. great only makes me love tandem air even more than i did before